Sixty years ago, Lex Halliday's Australian Instructional Films Company made a charming little film called Keith the Wombat. You acted in this movie with your pet wombat. What are your memories of that summer of 1950? It was a lovely summer. We had the film crew, Lex Halliday and his camera crew. They came to make a film called The Australian Platypus, in which my father collaborated at the Hillsville Sanctuary. That film, by the way, won an award in the Edinburgh Film Festival. And they spotted Keith the Wombat, my little pet, following me around like a dog and decided to do a film for children, for schools, an instructional film, entertaining and, of course, teaching children a little bit about our marsupials. How did a wombat get the name Keith? Keith McCrum was the bus driver who found the dead wombat on the road, the mother had been hit by a car and Keith was in the pouch. He was a tiny, helpless little pink joey. So when he, Mr. McCrum brought him to us, we decided to call him Keith after him. And my father said at the time that we shouldn't try to rear this little helpless joey because he had no fur, no hair, and he was very tiny and would be a waste of time and I'd be very disappointed if I tried to rear him and didn't succeed. But I persevered and won through, probably just to teach my father that I could do it. <laughs> was he a good pet and did he cooperate with the cameraman present? He was a wonderful pet for me because he was so devoted to me. I think he regarded me as Mother Wombat and uh, he never left my side and it was awful going to school and leaving Keith at home. But uh, when we joined up after school and on holidays we had a wonderful time together and he was quite playful but as he grew he decided to wander further afield and one time he disappeared for over a week and father thought that he felt the call of the wild and gone bush and I'd never see him again. Imagine my joy when I found Keith trying to get through the fence to me a week later. This film is now in the vaults of the National Film and Sound Archives.